Welcome back to your 30 days of fitness with Mind Pump. We are now back to your guys' mobility days. Remember, you're still targeting that neat. You want to get that 14 to 16,000 steps. Remember also your mobility stuff can be done at home. You don't have to go to the gym. Your first movement that Justin's going to take you through is the 90-90. Your second movement he's going to take you through is your shoulder dislocates. Your third movement he's going to take you through is the lizard with rotation. Fourth movement is your combat stretch. And then your final movement is your wall circles. Oh, and then we actually added an additional exercise on this mobility day. We got your floor, wrist, flexion, and extension. So all those mobility movements, Justin's gonna take you through why Sal and I talk about the mechanics. And then make sure you hang in until the end of the video. Sal's gonna bring it all together for you guys. All right, Sal. Well, here we are back with our mobility day. I'm excited to show you guys this one. This is a great, great exercise for the hips. Uh, I think they've done the 90-90 now a few times, but we're going to add a few variations or a few modifications, I should say. First off, you're going to do the same thing you've done the past couple times where you come down over the leg and push down into the floor with the leg that's in front of you. But the other modification that we're doing now is we're having you balance at the top in between reps. And this really is going gonna, is gonna to be a progression for a lot of people because some people may need to keep their hands. So if you are in a position where you can't do what Justin's doing, balancing uh, without his hands supporting him, if you can't do that, it's okay. This is just the progression for those, those people that actually have some pretty good hip mobility and they're starting to see the progression already. Also, continue to do the back leg up after you've done some, some sets of pressing down to the front leg. Still do what we taught you guys last week where you bring that one, that back leg up and internally rotate the hips. Remember though, Sal, when they are lifting that back trail leg up, they also want to be concentrating on driving the front knee and ankle into the grass. So not only is he going to lean forward into the stretch, he's also going to lift the back leg. While he's lifting the back leg, he's also trying to drive the knee and ankle into the grass. Excellent job. Next up is shoulder dislocates. All right, we're back here with Justin doing a shoulder mobility movement called shoulder dislocates, just like you've been doing them the past few weeks. Arms straight, full grip, bring the bar all the way over and now, around. Now, Sal, I believe that Justin today is going to show us a progression to this. For those of you guys that have good shoulder mobility, you can work on this little rotation over and under here. This is excellent. So what you do here, arms stay straight, but you only bring one arm over at a time and come all the way around. This is going to work your shoulders in different ranges of motion. Now, it's important you stay connected the entire time. In other words, stay tight. And Justin will actually reverse it the other direction also. So some of you may be able to do this. If not, stick with the original shoulder dislocates. Both of them are great for you. Coming up next, lizard with rotation. All right, Adam, here we are back down on the floor doing the lizard with rotation. Excellent move right here, Sal. This is one of my favorite. So get in your split stance, get down on one hand, just like you see in the video, point down with your elbow, rotate up, create a perfect perpendicular line with both hands, one on the floor, one straight up in the sky, create tension between those two arms like you're trying to separate your two hands, pause, come down and repeat. One of the things too that you can kind of progress this is not only is Justin working on the end ranges of motion, but as he's rotating, he's kind of pushing his knee out too. So his knee is going to push out a little bit, then he rotates all the way and extends as far back as he can, challenging those end ranges of motion. Excellent job. Next up, combat stretch. All right, Adam, we're going to witness Justin doing the ankle mobility move that you love so much. The combat stretch. Combat stretch. Now, you get into that kneeling position. You drive forward with your knee, but you got to keep that front foot flat. That's very important, Adam. Yes. Keep that front foot flat and then pull up on the toes. Most common mistakes, how I see, is people's back heel wanting to rise as they sink into the stretch. Make sure that heel stays flat on the ground. And then once Justin gets into the stretch, he's thinking intrinsically about lifting his toes up. A lot of you won't be able to lift your toes up, but you know you're doing it correctly because you'll feel that shin light up in the front. You're trying to lift the toes off the floor. The intention is everything. That's how you connect to these new ranges of motion. Remember, you're going to get into the stretch. You're going to hold that stretch position for about five seconds. While you're holding the stretch position, you're driving the toes up for about five seconds, and then you come out of it, and you're going to move in and out of the stretch five to ten reps on each side. I'm glad you specified that, Adam. Next up, wall circles. All right, Sal. So, oh, man, I'm excited about this. This is the new one we have for you this today. This is the new one that we have. It's called wall circles. Fantastic exercise for shoulder mobility. I have personally trained people who have alleviated 
their shoulder pain from this movement alone. Now, there's a couple of cues you want to pay attention to. Uh, one, notice how Justin's got good posture, chest is up, shoulders are back, so he's standing up tall and straight. He's also got about six to eight inches away from the wall because you want to have some room because nobody, well, I shouldn't say nobody, very few people, Sal, will be able to do this without their body deviating from like that. twisting and yes. turning, right? So you want to start with the back of your hand against the wall, arms straight out in front of you, and you want to bring it up over your head as high as you can until it's time to rotate your hand so that your palm is facing the wall. As you twist and come around, your hand's going to have to change positions from back of the hand to front of the hand against the wall. You also want to change directions uh, with your arm going forward and backwards. The biggest key to this, like I said, is keep staying squared up, looking forward. Don't let your torso twist and rotate. If you are twisting and rotate, which is very common and normal the first time someone does this, step away from the wall a little bit further. So get to a place where you can keep your posture straight forward. And then to progress the movement, you slowly move your feet closer to the wall. Also, as you're doing this, extend your ar arm out the entire time. Like you're creating energy out through your fingertips. This is going to give you tension so you can connect to all these new ranges of motion. Coming up next, floor wrist extension and flexion. All right, Sal, here we go. Justin on his knees again. What are we going to do here? We're going to do wrist extension and flexion. So he's got his palms on the floor, fingers spread out. Everything is pressing down into the floor, elbows locked, and he's going to rock forward to stretch his forearms. Now, while he's doing that, he's trying to drive down into the floor with his fingers and then pull up with his fingers. So he's going to alternate, drive down, pull up, and spread them out. So he's also trying to really put a lot of emphasis on spreading his fingers as wide as he possibly can. Just like all these movements we're doing, we're trying to challenge the end range of motion on all these joints. So as he's in that in that stretch position, he's going to spread his fingers as wide as he possibly can. You'll even see him trying to lift it up off the ground a couple of times. And he'll do that just like he's doing the combat stretch where he'll be in the stretch for about five seconds and then he'll rock out of it, do that five to ten times. Now once you've finished your eight to twelve reps on this side, then you want to go flip your wrist and get down on what are called your fins. That's where your wrists are facing backwards. Now remember, lock your elbows out and point your try to point your elbows behind you so that the crook of your elbow is pointing forward. That's how you get into the proper position. And then you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna rock back, drive your fingers down into the floor and alternate between driving them down and pulling them up and spreading out the fingers. Great, great job. Again, 8 to 12 repetitions. These are gnarly. Don't uh, don't be discouraged if you have a difficulty doing them. They're tough, tough exercises. All right, guys. You just watched Justin go through some mobility movements. Now, many of them, most of them, you recognize from the past three weeks, but we threw a new one in there. Let's go over the exercises you just did with Justin, or at least the ones you just watched Justin do. We have your 90-90, now this is your fourth week doing that, but we added another twist to it. Now we're adding balance. Now that's really important because it's gonna give you control of the movement. Remember, we've been saying this whole time, you wanna get new ranges of motion, but what's more important is that you get connected to those new ranges of motion, and balancing in that position and twisting is gonna help do that for you. We did our shoulder dislocates, lizard growth rotation, our combat stretch, I know you guys are liking that one, and then a new one, wall circles. When you're doing those wall circles, make sure, you, make sure you stay really, really tense. We want to be able to connect to that full range of motion all the way over and around, even as you rotate the hand. Go slow with that exercise. That's the key with a lot of these mobility movements, is to go slow and to exert control over them. You're not trying to get a pump, you're not trying to move through really quickly. You want to own the movement the entire time. Finally, we took you through your floor wrist extension and flexion for those of you that are those desk jockeys this one is invaluable treat them all like exercises three sets of each one eight to twelve reps tomorrow lower body strength exercises we got a new exercise for you tomorrow that you haven't done yet uh, look share this video with your friends tell them to jump on board they can watch the old ones so they can start from the beginning all the way through till now uh, also if you have a question do it in the comments and finally subscribe to this channel we post new videos like this one all the time.